Hi there. In this video, we will be taking a look at this moisture meter from Pictech. You might be wondering what uh, this does. Well, it uh, meters moisture. Obviously. <laughs> Joking. Uh, it checks the humidity of uh, wood, basically all types of wood. It's even more important during uh, winter season when you are burning wood in your stoves, uh, in your central heating, depending on where you are. Uh, if the humidity is too high, you don't get a proper burn and you get uh, all kind of uh, soot uh, deposits which can uh, catch fire or damage equipment, uh, clog things up, uh, burn down your house if you insist. So <laughs> that's not good at all. And with this thing, you can kind of make sure uh, the wood is at the proper humidity for burning. Or you can use something like this when uh, uh, making all sorts of things out of wood uh, to make sure uh, that you don't get uh, weird uh, warping when it actually dries up after uh, you've uh, made what you wanted from it because it does need to have a certain uh, humidity in it uh, to be fairly stable. So let's open this thing and uh, take a look. Just before opening it up I was looking at the packaging and it seems it actually can check more things for moisture so even uh, various construction materials which is actually more than I uh, knew that it can do and uh, that's kind of nice. So some info on it right here, works with a 9 volt battery, yep. And uh, this is the battery, let's get it out of uh, this protection case or packaging. I like the fact that it's the type that you can open up and you don't need to cut it because those are highly annoying. <laughs> Let's see right here we have uh, something. Where's the battery? Here is our battery. Come out and here we seem to have... Ah, they are uh, uh, taped in place. Come on, camera focus on them tips but let's see do we have some tips in here or those are the the only tips am i doing this right i hope i'm doing it right i will find out sooner or later won't i yeah i was doing it right we do have two tips installed so basically these are replacement tips which is nice because yeah this in time you keep poking at things uh, they will uh, worn down wear down actually sorry about that so yeah this just a cover which will be easier and easier to take out uh, as you use the tool itself i think this is one of those tools that's fairly self-explanatory i would have preferred uh, as uh, there are uh, in other pitech tools to have uh, not this thing to have the type where this is actually attached to the tool and you just slide in the 9 volt battery but hey not all of those uh, uh, are that easy to make so we can accept uh, something like this and let's plug it in uh, impossible to do a reverse polarity on such a battery because it will just not fit. Battery feels uh, fairly heavy so I'm expecting it to be decent quality. I do not know the brand. Push it in there and put the cover on top of it. Clip it in place and uh, Okay, it's on. So now let's inspect something with it. So found something to poke. It's not quite uh, a simple slab of wood, but uh, it does have wood inside of it. So yeah, this timed off and it shut off. 
and we have 0% and yes I can concur this thing is dry it's really really dry but uh, let's see how can we test this I'm expecting my hand to have some humidity we are in the green eh, I made a little bit better contact on the pins we are uh, in the orange or yellow and I think if I grab onto the pins fully to make a much better contact yeah we are in the red I'm not an expert in humidity levels uh, but yeah these are the LEDs that uh, it can show us let me just poke something to be in the green so hmm. let's see mode long press to get into mode we have a backlight as we could when you press the button it lights up for a short while and uh, yeah we are into wood mode long press this and then short press construction material mode celsius mode oh nice this is actually a thermometer also and let me check yep it's quite accurate maybe one degree off but good enough ah oh, actually no because it's in my hand so probably it uh, started to heat up that's why it's uh, probably over the temperature in this room with uh, about one degree so let's see and uh, long press again yeah also fahrenheit so not only celsius which is awesome and it keeps track of highest i think we have an h there okay interesting let me see so let's go to construction material let it do its thing yeah i think it can keep track of the highest oh and it expects much more uh, uh, resistance in here to give us uh, a value in here then uh, or no it actually works like this wait a second so we have 0.9 percent and if i go here hmm i have no clue how that works ah it's hold jesus hold <coughs> yeah if it were a max it would be an m idiot me anyway sorry about that let's get back to what we were thinking which is this and poke some other things which uh, yeah are more humid than this this thing which is part of my workbench i would again expect to be kind of completely bone dry so let's see yep it's completely bone dry which makes sense this uh, was sheltered from any kind of humidity for a few good years at this point already before going out this is the calibration sheet let's get to the side and see if i'm actually using the tool properly english as expected uh, in a pictech manual from the middle of it safety precautions we don't do that <coughs> joking i will read that but i think it's on the lines of don't poke yourself with those and don't uh, eat the battery <laughs> that's yeah <laughs> what what needs to be put in uh, in safety manuals these days so measuring range for wood from 6 to 60 percent building material from 0 0.2 to 2.9 temperature 0 40 celsius 30 to 99 fahrenheit resolution 1% for wood for building material 0 0.1 temperature 1 degree and uh, accuracy plus minus 2% for wood and 0 0.1 for uh, building materials and for temperature it's not specified because this is not a thermometer as its main purpose auto power, power off in 15 seconds it shows this battery symbol when it wants to uh, have the battery replace holds measurement uh, in display yep i found that out operating environment right here this is the size and weight of it a bit more info right here so right there measure moisture 
levels in sawn timber, paper, cardboard, hardened materials, mortar, concrete and plaster. Moisture level directly. In addition, it can also measure environment temperature, yep, and relates to indicate moisture status of the object under test. Portable and easy to use and uh, low cost and easy to use pocket size device. Yep, it actually is. Again, the symbols. And here are the instructions. And to perform the measurement, this is what we kind of uh, want. Moisture, drive the probes into the wood. Okay. Between 6 and 16 uh, green lead, okay. Above 16 and below 20 uh, yellow lead, yep. Above 20 red lead, yeah, that's kind of moist and I think I will uh, have some of that same uh, for building materials but with different values power off and we have here battery uh, replacement and uh, yeah let's play with it outside let's test something like this uh, these have been outside but in this which has a lid on it uh, we use this for barbecue from time to time just pieces uh, not the ones with uh, lacquer on them the ones without so uh, let's see what does this say so about 10 percent which is quite okay but for barbecue yeah even a bit higher would not be an issue let's go poke something else for example this thing that was out in the rain yikes 31% humidity that's a bit high a few other pieces of wood this was again uh, wet so this is powered on 30% 31% yeah it's no bueno at all even if you push deeper it doesn't actually change the value so there's no point let's see right here This is 16%, this was a bit more covered, this should be even drier, if I could actually poke it without it moving, let me see, maybe like this, upside down, 13%, so this is actually good to burn, but yeah, they are just little pieces, let's test uh, this one, let me see, yikes, again 30 and something, the part that wasn't in the rain, 15%, this is good to burn, actually. Half of it. <laughs> and we were disturbing this little guy. Luckily I didn't poke him. Or he didn't poke me. And some construction leftovers. I don't think you can get <laughs> much wetter than, than this. Oh. Let's power it on. Okay. So basically that's about the max that it uh, will give us now we managed to do more <laughs> in this area where you can actually see more wetness on it do you want to see more than that for sure we can do that <laughs> this one is even wetter i've been reading a bit online about uh, moisture in wood and it seems that you want to burn wood when it's uh, somewhere I don't know 12 to 15 percent uh, max humidity it seems it's not ideal to be fully dry probably to just burns too quickly and maybe a bit too hot I'm thinking that's why nobody says hey zero percent humidity or maybe in real life when you store it outside that's also not really possible so anyway 12 to 15 percent so where this actually gives us the green light and the absolute maximum where you want to burn uh, uh, wood is up to 20% where this would give us uh, the yellow light but that's the maximum 
above 20 percent everybody says you lose almost half of the caloric power of the wood burning because you basically use the wood itself that's burning to also evaporate water from it at the same time and it's not capable of fully burning properly all sorts of problems so don't do that uh, and yeah have your chimneys inspected each year your house your life everything depends on that don't play around with this have them ins inspected and cleaned so uh, yeah that's about it for this little guy will be put to good use uh, the second we uh, finish our um, wood burning uh, stove yeah, i think it's more of a stove than fireplace although it was called fireplace when we bought it so <laughs> yeah uh, but uh, at least now i know what i'm burning in there so thanks Pictech for sending this in I will shortly borrow it to my father to check uh, the wood that he has in store because he already has uh, uh, his uh, working for basically as long as uh, I've been alive. <laughs> so yeah, uh, but then this will get back to me when mine is finished. So uh, will be put to good use around the house and surprisingly at my woodworking projects when I'm uh, adjusting uh, speakers and stuff like that yep this comes in handy because i know if i'm putting a piece of wood that's already dry in there it will be stable if it's really wet nope that thing will shrink and crack and deform so that's not stable at all anyhow again thanks pictech this is the model 5200 and see you in the next video bye